this, so um, I should technically be revising, although I only have three exams left. I've not made six, but three <laughs> exams left. And I know that I've already made a video on like how to keep calm during exams, but I decided I'm going to make a video on the stupid things <laughs> that we do during like coming up to exams. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold still. Um, but so this could be from procrastination to mental breakdowns to just being lazy, <laughs> like me. So um, I've got like a list of things that I want to talk about. There are certain things that um, might just be me, like I might just do this, um, but there are probably some that everybody can relate to. Now, please don't make me feel alone while doing this because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. I mean, I could be, but I don't think I am. It's also raining, so I'm sorry if it's a bit dark and you can't see me. There are lights on, obviously, but my lights aren't very good. Um, anyway, <sighs> I don't know why I felt like I felt like something happened. So anyway, number one, um, I think the thing that we mostly experience is the kind of panic coming up to the whole exam process and usually this panic involves things like running around the house crazily um i mean i, I totally don't do that No, yeah, people people do this, right? Other people do this, it's not just me. But yeah, there are times when I have been known to run around the house in panic. So, that's gonna be fun. Um, number two, I would say, is the breakdown process where you are sat there and you're revising, you have your book in your hand, and you just feel like dreaming, and you just break down, and you're crying. And I do this one a lot as well. If these are all my experiences. Right, okay. I'm gonna study. This is oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't know anything. This is so stupid. What's the point anymore? There's no point in any of this. I'm just gonna, you know. I don't need this. Uh, number three is, I don't know what I'd call this, it's like an existential crisis, but not, because it's how everyone pictures existential crises, you're lying on the floor going, why, what is this, what is life, so yeah, the existential crisis, but it's not really one. <laughs> Five? <laughs> I don't know what number I'm on. Um, I would say this one is the procrastination process. This is where you would rather do anything else than do your work. So this could be cleaning your room, cleaning the house, washing the dishes, washing the car, even if it's raining, washing the car. Alex? What are you doing? Oh, you know, like, you remember you told me that, you, that I needed to clean up and everything. Um, I'm just gonna blow up some balloons for the party next week. <laughs> gotta get ahead, you gotta be organised, you know? I've, I've got some presents to wrap as well for, um, oh, what's your friend's name? Julie. I've got, I've got presents to wrap for Julie. And then, um... Oh, do you know what? I'll do the shopping today, Mum. It's fine. You relax. You sit at home. I'll do the shopping for you. <laughs> Aren't I a good child? Um, I think this is like a major fault of mine. I just go straight into procrastination when it comes to exams. And you can't get me out of that deep spiralling hole. That sounded 
<laughs> weird. <laughs> what the hell? A deep spiralling hole. Um, number six or five. I'm not sure what number I'm on still, but I'm going to say six. Number six would be the procrastination where you just don't care. You just literally sat there watching YouTube, doodling, I don't know, doing whatever you do best. Um, watching TV. I'm just taking some a break. I've done so much work today. But I thought, you know, why not take a break? It's, it's good to take a break in it every once in a while, right? I'll, I'll do my work later, I promise. I promise. Alex, what are you doing? Oh, this, you know, like, I'm just practicing my artwork, you know? It's good to uh, practice other skills once in a while, apart from, you know, your actual work and everything else that you've got to do in life, so I just thought I'd uh, practice my henna while um, I take my very small break. Yeah. I promise it'll, it'll be very short. Enough. You've got my word. Just let me. I've got one cat whisker left to do, and then I'll get back to it. I promise. Absolutely promise. There. Looks beautiful. Right, today I have spent the majority of my time watching Adventure Time instead of studying. Oh well. I've also decided that I kind of want to cosplay Marceline now. So. Maybe that'll be the future. <gasps> Who knows? Um, I'm getting distracted again. Number seven would possibly be... What's the next stage? I've forgotten them already. I have this video all planned out. And then I had to go and remove the script that I made. <sighs> what am I doing? Oh, got it. The next stage is psychotic laughter. I'm going to be honest, none of these are in order. These can just happen whenever they want to. The next stage, seven, I think I'm on, is the psychotic laughter. This is where you will be sat there revising and you just start going crazy. Just go for it. It's bad. It's a bad time. Um, I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them that I can think of. If you have any to add to this list, comment down below and let me know what they are. Uh, if you like this video, like it. Go give that thumbs up. Um, it would really help me a lot. And subscribe, and you'll get to more videos soon because after the twenty fourth of June, my exams are over. Whoop whoop. I don't know what this is because I can't do the wave. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, but yes. And also, I finally have my piano. For those of you who know that I was getting a piano. I don't think I ever actually mentioned it in a video. But I have a piano now. Which means you're going to get covers and songs. And all that great goodness of life. Um, I don't know why I said that. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm so weird. Anyway, peace, love and hugs. Go hug someone today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Nearly got lipstick on my hand. Bye bye.